All right, we're going to talk about the triphasic training, compressed training cycle hack. So essentially, this is methods that I've used to um, help somebody compress their year-long training cycle, uh, at least in the uh, phases of triphasic when we have basically 20 different weeks of training in various cycles, uh, roughly about eight cycles uh, during the course of a year that could be used. We're going to show you how to compress those into 10 weeks of basic training in case your time um, frame is per, uh, limited or if during this 10 week training you're gonna uh, try to do some different and very specific qualities in your sport after that 10 weeks so um, basically what you have is a triphasic super maximal uh, model here basically laid out for 20 weeks and notice you have uh, your aerobic base and your aerobic lactate uh, GPP model where it focus on and then uh, focus on repeated sprint ability the third phase of that gpp model these first six weeks are the uh, um, the gpp repeated sprint ability concept um, that we've put together uh, based upon ben peterson's uh, dissertation work and then where we're at is the uh, the next phase is obviously triphasic and then we move on to the uh, obviously power and peaking phases and this is a classic model that people use um, here's a the actual compressed model and uh, basically you have the aerobic which then you um, can see that this model if we only use two peaking we'd actually end here at 10 weeks so the previous one was 20 this one was 10 weeks but you'll see some of the fluidness of the triphasic system how all this can be put together now um, the aerobic phase is the same but then you start combining the eccentric with the lactate and actually that uh, those parameters are wrong but your sets are 20 seconds usually that'd be about 80 to 85 percent to 92 percent loading and then the next phase is essentially uh, isometric with uh, under 10 second sets at 120 to 105 percent loading and you can see the power and the speed phases would be the same so I want to make sure you have a full understanding of that all the qualities from the 20 week are brought in to the the short compressed model so you basically have your aerobic base from the original one it carries over to the compressed model now the lactate training will be put into the eccentric uh, training base. When I say that, we have a uh, uh, in the eccentric components above 80% in the sets uh, and this eccentric comes from here too, so you pull in multiple qualities. For the alactic, your sets are isometrically under 10 seconds compared to the week before it was 20 to 30 seconds to remember to keep this lactate training compressed with the eccentric. Now the isometrics are done with under 10 second sets and then the power and speed. So you can see how this is 10 weeks here. I'm sorry. Uh, that was 10 weeks. And what you have is um, compressed 20 weeks of training. Now some things to be aware of. Look, the result will not be as effective as a 20 weeks. So basically what I'm saying is this short compressed training model will never produce you the results of the 20-week training model. Now if you have other qualities you need to address the compression, uh, the compressed state works well. So maybe you got more off-season uh, sports specific skills that need to be done here and then you're going into a maintenance phase. Okay, That can be con done also. Now one of the biggest things about misconceptions about triphasic is you have to follow all these protocols. These do not have to be followed. These can be, um, you can put gaps in here. Remember, you're just trying to develop qualities with this block training model so that you can get back to them, retain them, develop deeper um, qualities from the block training model. And actually, they will last longer if you use a block method. And then keep in mind that if you have athletes that have done a 20 long plan, 20 week plan, so if they've done this one in the past, they actually might be able to do this one and get better results than somebody who hasn't done a 20. I'm not saying you'll get better results. I'm saying, um, comparatively to a non uh, person who hasn't done the 20 week plan up here, 
they will get um, better results if you've gone through the 20 week plan um, than you would if you just started this compressed model but that may not be the case this is often and can be used by college football teams because of the short off season um, some teams hope that their athletes will do this GPP model at home so then they can get right into the eccentric isometric phase and that would give them about eight weeks during the course of the season for a or during the course of the uh, off season for spring ball to get ready and prepare to be ready for spring ball so um, here's where you can actually get the slides here's the triphasic uh, Excel sheet you, you have access to if you click on it and then if you want more information you can follow me on these uh, these actual uh, social media sites